And I'm back. Now let's see. Jeez, I can't remember who I have up front right now. Well, I guess we'll find out. Probably should have looked at that before I started recording again, but whatever. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we got someone up front that can deal with Sophia easily enough. Ah, Trini. Okay. Well, we'll go with Thunderbolt. After all, it's a Jigglypuff. What's it gonna do to my little Thunderbolt? Just, just sit there and take it? Ooh, it's giving me a pounding! Huh. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't sound like I'm trying to encourage it. Oh well. At least we got the paralysis, even though it doesn't really help us any. <laughs> I mean, that fight was decided already. Okay, what's the follow-up gonna be? A Pidgey? You, you don't have anything else? An Oddish? Um... Okay, I guess she just wants to die. I mean, I would have used anything besides Pidgey, you know? But anyway, right here comes the, um, Thunderbolt of the Gods themselves, you know? And what's that gonna leave for the follow-up? A um, Meowth. Well, still a better pick than Pidgey. Let's give it a Thunderbolt. I know, it's like we don't have any other moves, right? Ooh, critical hit. That poor Meowth. <sighs> yeah, your best really didn't amount to much, did it? Ah, the Nightmare Hiker. The one that destroys all others. Well, time to cross. <laughs> ah, this is gonna suck. This is going to suck. It's gonna suck so hard. But we got no choice but to do it. Well, let's double team. And be prepared to use a lot of super potions. Or what few I do have. Well, I wasn't going to hit you with an electrical attack anyway. So I don't know what the point of that was. Ooh, defense curl. Nice. But... I'll let you sub as many defense curls as you like, as long as you don't hit me with magnitudes, okay? <sighs> I just want to set up a few double teams in advance for that freaking Graveler. Damn, Graveler. Ugh, shaking my fist at it. And this is going to be a long fight with this Geodude, ain't it? After all, it's got like, what, three defense curls up now? Man. This thing is not going to break easily. Who dodged a bullet there. Huh. <sighs> That's what a stung. And probably spelled the death of me. Just just instantly. Who dodged another one? <sighs> that is nerve wracking, man. Let's try and end this quickly. Dude, if the magnitudes aren't gonna work, why do you think Rock Throw would be better? Rock Throw is even less accurate than Magnitude. And it's a bit late to save yourself with a defense curl when you're already at that close to death. If anything, what's going to save you is I'm going to run out of Brick Breaks before I can take care of Graveler at this rate. Huh. <sighs> I may have to send out Power Orb and try and basically pull off, you know, the win that way. We'll see. I mean, I still have, what, four in play, or is three? I think four, yeah, I got five there, I think. So, yep, no, it is only three. Yeah. Well, three ought to hopefully be enough to break Graveler. 
I think this is the last hiker, so we should be good. Come on, shatter that Graveler into pieces, and let's move on with our day. Uh, if I never see this Graveler again, I'll be good. Seriously, I hate Graveler. At least when it's used against me and I'm doing an electric team. It's just so nerve-wracking, you know? Ah, shoot, he's trying to catch me. Well, I'll try and sneak behind him, I suppose. Or see if he turns. He might be one of those kinds of guys. Darn it, I just walked into it. Why do you want a Pokedex so bad? Just, just go ask Professor Oak. I'm sure he's got spares. I mean, he had enough to give me and my rival one. Well, I can't switch at this point. I guess we're going to have to drop the T-Bolt and switch afterwards. Yeah, yeah, super effective. That's to be expected. Um, tell me something I don't know. <sighs> Another Slowpoke? How many Slowpokes does this guy have? Anyway, get Maya out there. Ooh. Might jump to level 27 after this. Good. Come on, drop it with the T-Bolt. Yes. No more Slowpoke. <sighs> Another Slowpoke? Jeez. You think you'd have some variety on this team other than just Slowpokes? I mean, I know I shouldn't talk that trash about that, considering my team's comprised of three Pikachus and a Voltorb. But, no, well, at least there's some variety there. It's not much, but... What can I say? There's not a lot of electric Pokemon available early on. Looking forward to getting that Jolteon, what can I say? Okay, I think I might be able to dodge her if I hug the wall. Can't dodge the next one that way, though, unfortunately. Might as well just take her on. There's no getting out of it. Let's battle! Okay. Starting out with a Pidgey, eh? Well, this should be easy. I figured she'd drop a grass type, you know, right out of the gate, and be like, oh, I gotta bring out the Mega Punch. But nope. Well, let's see. What are we gonna follow this up with? Ratata? I'll just Thunderbolt it. Sure, I could technically bring out one of my last brick breaks and probably break it in one punch, but is that really necessary? And I'd say no. And I'd definitely be correct. Okay, what's next? Another rat? Huh. Guess she's a fan of Splinter from the Ninja Turtles, man. She's like, I need more rats! <sighs> well, maybe one of these days I'll get a pet rat. Maybe. Though I don't see him really at Pet Killer, and I don't know if PetSmart would carry those either. I don't know if I'd want to go to a guy that deals in selling rats in particular, you know? I'm sure there's rat breeders out there, and I could probably find one, but... I don't know if I want to go that road. Ooh. Get to feel like Chibity from G Gundam. You know, with this one punch. Of course, I still remember that time Domon became, you know, like 12 Gundams to stop his attack. If you're gonna punch me 12 times in an instant, I'll become 12 Gundams in order to stop you! Like, what? How'd he do that? Ugh, I, I still can't figure that out. It boggles the mind. Ugh. I could probably never figure that one out. Like, he, he doesn't just clone himself, he made clones of his Gundam. In an instant. Ugh. G Gundam gets insane at points. That's that's all I'm saying. Of course, it also got censored in the U.S. too. 
I mean, after all, it's called the Dark Gundam instead of the Devil Gundam like it's supposed to be. Jeez, reminds me of a story um in the news a long, long time ago, where this truck was delivering um hell size to a place, you know, um duo of Maxwell's Gundam from the the endless waltz. Yeah, getting a bit tongue-tied there. Trying to remember exactly, but yeah, they um refused this shipment of um hell scythes. They're like, nope, nope, can't touch this. That's hell in the title. Take it away. Just, just put it back in the truck and take it with you. I think this was down um, in Kentucky or somewhere down south, so yeah. They're like, nope, 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 not taking them. And have them sent back, because of the name. Well, on the plus side, I can't be poisoned while I'm asleep, so there is that. I doubt this thing has very many offensive moves, so... If anything, we're just going to be wasting turns, you know, while we're waiting to wake back up so we can drop the finishing blow. Uh, assuming we don't miss. That is a distinct possibility with Mega Punch, after all. I had more than my fair share of misses when I really needed that hit, you know? I always hate when that happens. Well, we reached level 28 and we can hopefully get out of here. Poor Power Orb, though. Gonna faint before we get to the Pokemon Center. Okay. I think we'll hit up the um Pokemon Center, then we'll make our way in with the uh, the Pokemon Tower, take on our rival, and then call it quits for this episode. Though I think we'll lead off with um Power Orb just to see um where Power Orb falls on the power scale here. I'm guessing not very well, but we'll see. I mean, that level should make it somewhat competitive with my rival, hopefully. And If worse comes to worse, we'll bring in Chu Chan for the sweep, you know, if we have to. I may drop it for um, Sand Slash regardless. Just because Brick Break's a much better option for dealing with it than none of the other options. Yeah, my Pokemon are still alive. Though, since he doesn't use his Radicate after um, the last battle, and he's here um, talking about how we don't have any dead Pokemon, I'm assuming his Rattata uh, died. Ah, yes, Pidgeotto. Well, meet my newest friend, Power Orb. I use a Spark Attack. I just can't stop sparkling, man. Huh. I don't know how effective that's going to be with just one application. We'll see. Oh, you got me to miss once. Come on, land the blow. It was just one sand attack. Gosh darn it. This is embarrassing. Uh, imagine if I self-destructed right now, I'd also miss. Well... Power Orb got one knockout. Well, we'll switch. Let's um, send out Maya. Let's do this, Maya. Well, I think we can deal with Growlithe. Just gotta get a taste of our electrical powers here. Well, I'll teach it to respect my authority. Ooh, counters with an ember. Going for the burn. Didn't get it, though. Yep. Growl's a big Bernie fan. Because they can feel the burn. Well, let's see. Execute. Leave her out there. Leave her out there. Mega Punch, you know. It's definitely an option. Mega Punch! And that didn't do anywhere near enough damage. Gosh darn it. And I have no way to wake back up right now. Well, it's not like it's gonna follow with Dream Eater. 
Come on, Maya. I need you to wake up. Ah, shoot. Here comes the Seeds of Doom. Now we're in trouble. Oh, man. Let's, let's hope this is a crit, man. I need the crit. Nope, just a regular blow. And then we're gonna get hit with confusion, right? Man, Maya's gonna fall apart against this execute. It's kinda sad. But she softened it up enough where I can hopefully bring it down with um, self destruct here. Yeah, we're gonna sacrifice two Pokemon to take out one freaking execute. Man, this is just sad. We're gonna kamikaze this sucker to death. Well, that just leaves Trini. At least if I don't want to drop Chu Chan just yet. Though, no, I'm not like it's gonna be Sand Slash, ain't it? No, Kadabra. Okay. Well, in that case, Thunderbolt. I mean, it's Kadabra, it's a glass cannon. They can't take Jack Squad from anybody. Kinesis? Are you kidding me? Why would you use Kadabra's worst move? Kinesis. Jeez. You might as well have used Flash. Ugh. Seriously, Kinesis is a terrible signature move to have. Like, if it raised your um, special attack and had a chance to lower your enemy's accuracy, then it'd actually probably be pretty good. As it stands, it's terrible. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have Sand Slash, does he? I'm thinking of Yellow, aren't I? Well, whatever. Aw, oh, man. Our Thunderbolt missed. Well, at least the turn on raising its defenses, at least, so... Didn't hurt me too bad. Now, hopefully this ends it. And I can move on with my day down to some other project. No, not, not enough. Got, got hit twice, huh? Man, you're weak, Pikachu. I really need to evolve. I need to evolve so bad. And how is one Kinesis screwing me up this much? It's insane. It's like that sand attack earlier. One application missed like three attacks in a row. Like, what? Makes no sense. <sighs> At least we don't have to drop Chu Chan, though. I suppose you did, but I didn't bring out my best Pokemon either, so we're even. You don't even use a Marowak anyway, so what do you care? Well, that does it for this episode. Next time we'll be making our way over to Celadon City and picking up a Jolteon and probably taking on, um, not Erica, probably moving up against the Elite Four. Not Elite Four. Gosh darn it. Team Rocket. Man, I guess I need to take a nap at this point, don't I, if I'm getting Team Rocket messed up with the Elite Four. That was pretty bad. Till next time, then. See ya.